Hey everyone, one very ordinary man here, just out here staring at my mill. I've heard this question. Can you tune a sawmill blade with a guitar tuner? And I suppose, theoretically, you can. Uh, but I don't know, so we're going to try it out. So this right here is my guitar tuner. I use it to tune my bass. And it's called a snark. And the thing that's kind of cool about the Snark and why it probably would be the best possible guitar tuner for this situation is the fact that, well, you simply clip this thing on to your instrument and you don't necessarily need to, uh, uh, you know, have volume on your amp, etc. It's not listening for a sound through the magic of piezoelectric whatever whatever it senses the vibration in the instrument and so that is how it tunes it how it works I don't know go look it up on your own time I don't have the time for that but the magic is is that when you're tuning you don't have to turn your amp on etc you don't have to hear the sound there can be a bunch of other noise going on in the room doesn't matter you can tune with this crazy thing, you know, as long as you're obviously tuning one string at a time like normal. And it will tell you, you know, flat, sharp, etc. Pretty simple little deal. Okay, right there it gives a little line on the one side so it's not activated obviously until we pluck a string somewhere. And we're going to do that with the uh, bandsaw mill here. Let's attach it right on the blade over here. And then we're going to apply, we'll apply a moderate tension to this. So around 300 psi. Pluck the string. Okay, another time. So it looks like once it kind of finds itself, it's a little bit flat of an F sharp. All right. So I'm going to pump this up a little bit more. Let's go to. Let's go all the way up to 500, say. PSI. Okay, there we're at 500 PSI. Okay, and now I'm going to try plucking again. Oh, now we got a strong F sharp. So we're somewhere sharp of F sharp, my friends. All right, let's keep going up here. More tension, more tension. Did I mention more tension? Okay, we're gonna go up to about 700 PSI. And back on our guitar tuner. Pluck. Ooh, we are strong of a G. Yep. Stop. Okay. Pluck again. Aha, we're strong of a G. Okay, so up we go again. Let's just keep going up here. Sorry for the shaking. Oh, we'll just go up to 900 and call it quits right there. I think. There we go. 900. All right. Okay, at 900 psi, we're going to pluck the string. Ready or not? Ooh, and then we're on a G sharp, right on. 
Stop. Let's pluck again. G sharp. Right on. We'll stop. Pluck again. G sharp. Right on. Okay. All right, so that was all very cool and well and good. But now, here's the deal. This is so far from this one over here, right? And if you know something about this, <clears throat> the note that you end up with, frequency, translating to note, right, uh, is going to depend on this distance right here. So let's do this now. Let's take and move this in. We haven't changed our uh, PSI loading. I'm going to move that in. We're just going to kind of go extreme here. And I'm going to move this over. Like so. Okay. And we're staying at 900 PSI uh, on our cylinders for the tension device. I will translate all those PSI's into actual tension for the video, so you'll see that there. Alright, let's pluck a string now, or pluck the band I should say. Oh, you see that? We're just shy of a C sharp. And if I roll this back, oh, can't do that. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm going to wreck my guitar tuner. Let's put this back over here a little bit. And let's move this back out, which is going to lengthen the distance a little bit. Let's pluck again. Uh-huh. A sharp, not quite. Okay, so here's the point, friends. Yeah, you could potentially set your blade tension with a tuner. And I think if you had um, steel wheels instead of rubber wheels and so on, and you were tuning the the top of the blade as opposed to the part between your guides and maybe if you measured precisely the distance of the guides every time you could do such a thing but as you saw here tuning kind of requires that everything is equal every time so the blade size and thickness with um, cross-sectional area if you will has to be the same um, the distance between the guides would have to be exactly the same and yeah it just makes it kind of hard I guess uh, plus I seems like you don't really get good resolution between uh, the notes that you're tuning in a way um, yeah so anyway I, I Kind of theoretically, yeah, you know, if this was that Mythbuster show, we'd say plausible, but probably not super practical. Anyway, that's it for my little uh, goofy experiment here with the guitar tuner. Thanks for watching. Okay, watch this crazy thing here. Boom. About an A flat. Check this out. Look at, I want to put this up here. See where that's at? I'm going to pluck the string again. Check that out. How is that getting that vibration through there? I mean, it's not that much of a vibration. Still getting me that A flat.